everyone, this is Bridget from Host Agency Reviews, and this is the first video in our How to Build a Wix website series. These videos go along with our Wix tutorial article from hostagencyreviews.com. If you didn't come here from the article, here's a link to it so you can utilize both the videos and the text tutorial. Alright, so we are starting at the very beginning. This is the screen you will see if you click the Wix link from our article. It goes directly to this Wix ADI landing page. It's very important to note that our video series and blog article are going through the steps of using Wix ADI, not the Wix editor. For why we chose Wix ADI, you'll want to read our article. Now that we got that out of the way, let's do it. If you already have an account, you're able to log in here. Doing so will bring you to your dashboard like this. And if you want to create a new site, you go to My Sites and create a new site. And we're going to do Business, Start ADI. Then hold on this page until we catch up. For those of you who don't have an account yet, you click sign up and enter your information. It's gonna start off by asking you some questions. Your answers will likely differ from my own, but I'm just gonna go through this as if I were starting my own travel agency website. Let's say this is my first time and it's a business website. And so that does give you the option to do the Wix editor or Wix ADI. And again, we're doing Wix ADI for this tutorial. And now you'll be at that same screen. So we should all be on the same page now. All right, what type of business do you want? I'm going to put in travel agent. And they do have different type of travel agencies. And honestly, I haven't really seen a difference in what I'm offered depending on what I click. So don't worry about it. I'm just going to click travel agent. You are able to add different apps from the get-go, but we really recommend starting simple so you don't overwhelm yourself. So that means unchecking these default ones they've added in. You can always add apps later. Name of my business. Now, if you already have an existing website, you can enter it here and it'll comp import and copy some of the information, which is really handy. And same with if you already have a Google Places set up for your business. I do not, so I'm just going to leave them blank. Now I'm able to add my logo. And if you have any of your other information here, you can enter it in. I do not for my fake travel agency, so I'm going to skip those. And now I get to choose what theme I want. Now you don't need to worry about the color scheme. On the next page, it's going to ask to create a color palette from your logo. So just take a look at the font and the description of each theme to fit what suits your style best. Just as promised, it's asking me to create a color palette from my logo. Now this is one of my favorite features of Wix ADI because it just takes a look at your logo and chooses colors that fit your brand. And so it's going to make the whole site really cohesive. So once you hit use these colors, Wix is going to create three separate homepage designs for you to choose from. This is one of the reasons why we recommend having a logo from the start so that your site is designed with those colors in mind versus having to work backwards. Now for the design, there is no wrong answer here. Just choose which of the three you like best. You're able to change the colors, images, and layout later on in the process. They're just trying to give you a good base to start from. And I'm going to say I like this one. And that's all it takes. Wix is now generating our new website based on our color palette and the layout we chose. And here's our brand new site, basically ready to go, filled up with content and images. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to edit and design the individual sections that make up our site.